Hi children, today we are going to look around the classroom, your house, outside the house, in the school campus, all the things that you can see. Some things grow, move, there are some things that lie wherever you leave it. Let us say your doll. After playing in the house, you leave it in a place and the doll, little doll is there till you come back to play with it again. Your water bottle, you drink water, you leave it there. You take it again. It cannot move. The little doll, can the doll talk to you? You talk to the doll so happily, but the doll cannot talk. Does your doll grow? Does your doll walk? Does your doll drink water like you? Eat sweets like you? No. So that's what we are going to look at. Our little doll that you play with, it cannot Grow, it cannot eat, it cannot smile, cannot walk. But if you have a baby sister, a baby brother in the neighborhood or in your house, when you look at the little baby sister, what does the baby sister or brother do? Move hands, you can see the eyes moving, smiling. And the mother of the baby Mother, what mother gives? Milk, water, food. And what happened? Little later the baby crawled, the baby walks. So the little baby sister, the baby brother is different from your doll you play. So we are talking about today living. What about you children? You come to school walking, talking, smiling, carrying your little bag. You eat, you drink, you play, you jump, you do all kinds. And year after year, you grow and you go from one class to another. You do writing, reading, singing, dancing. So we are living things. Now what are the things that we can do? You can do. You can move from one room to the other. You breathe. You drink water, you eat food. So what do we need to remember about a living thing? You and I, we are living thing. We breathe, we eat food, we drink water, we grow. And when you become big mama, you get babies and so on. So living things. We are talking about living things. Let's talk about the things outside. Let us say, a little plant, trees in your garden, in front of your house. You see the plant was tiny when you were small. As you grew, you saw the plant growing. The plant producing flowers, fruit, seed, and then other plants come about. The plants move when the wind blows. So, Plant is also a living thing. So we are going to study today. Look at today. What is the living thing? What are the things the living things do? Plants and trees and flowers, you and I, animals and birds, they are all living things. Okay? So we are going to talk about living. The book you have, the things in your home, they cannot move, your fan in the class, it cannot move unless the electrician moves it. It doesn't need any air to breathe. It doesn't need food. So non-living things that cannot move, cannot eat, cannot grow are different from us. So we are going to talk about, we are going to look into detail about living and non-living things. All right? Living and non-living things. Living and 
non living things non living things living and and this is what we are going to look at now when we talk about the living you and i you are the birds animals the puppy the pussy cat hen and duck and all what we see they are living now living things what are the things the living things do first take your hand pinch yourself ha ah, it pains something pokes your hand or leg it pains so living things feel so first we're going to talk about the living living things we're talking about living things all right living things feel the living things feel then whether you or your puppy or bird or pussy cat even the plants outside they need air to breathe so living things feel living things breathe if you are a living person then you feel you breathe when you feel thirsty what do you do yes you eat and drink living thing you need to eat food you need to drink water okay so you feel you breathe you eat you drink you move about very good you move about you can move from one place to another you can move about okay then you grow today you are a little girl you grow you grow from a little girl to a big girl little boy to a big boy and then finally you will become like mama then when you become a big girl then what happen you have your own baby so living things feel breathe eat drink move grow then have young ones have young ones young ones now in the case of animals they feel somebody hurts them someone throws stone at a dog they feel the dogs also breathe pussy cat also breathe they eat the pussy eats loves to eat fish drinks milk it runs and jumps all about the pussy little kitten grows into a cat and they have young one what about the plants the plants too they feel when you pluck a flower when you break a branch they feel so what are these living things we are talking about animals birds plants and human we are all living things so what are living things living when you say living things we have all the animal then birds then plants and trees plants and trees then finally human who are humans we now when you say animals both big and small tiny elements big like the elephant and the giraffe and tiny birds and tiny snails the little ants they are all living things 
birds, all kinds of birds, both big and small, the huge ostrich, the tiny little chicken, they are all living things. All the plants that you see around, the tiny grass to the huge trees. Then finally, humans, you and I at home. Look at all the people in your house. Grandpa, Grandma, your dad and mom, your brother and sister and you. So we are all human. We are talking about living things. Yes? Now what do the living things do? Come on, they breathe, good, they feel, they eat, they drink, they move about, they grow, they have young ones. Alright, so what, what are these living things? Animals and birds and plants and trees and humans, we are all living things. Now, now that we have learned discussed about living thing, shall we learn a tiny little poem, tadpole. What are tadpoles? The big mama frog lays eggs in the water, any water spot, tiny little legs are there, then it grows a long tail and then the tadpole comes. The tadpole has got nothing but a long tail. And then the tadpole grows into a frog. So we are going to talk about, we are going to learn a little poem. Since we are talking about living thing, we learn a small poem on living thing. That is tadpole. Very good. So, let's look at a tiny poem. Tadpole. Okay. I've caught a tadpole living in a jar. Now, a little boy Tommy, he loves tadpole. So, he's got a little jar. So, I've got, I have got a tadpole I got a tadpole living in a jar living in a jar going to be a frog they say, going to be a frog, going to be a frog, frog, they say, two little tadpoles living in a jar, Two little, two little tadpoles living in a jar, grow a little, grow a little, grow a little day by day, day by day. Three little tadpoles living in a jam jar, three, three little tadpoles. Living in a jam jar, living in a jam, jam bottle, okay, jam jar. Tails grow shorter, tails 
grow shorter tails grow shorter and legs grow longer and legs grow longer and that's about the now here is the jam jar okay here is the jar and you have tadpoles inside the tadpoles have a tiny little mouth and they are nothing but a long thing like this okay so we make it three all right here all the tadpoles okay now let's say the poem together this is the jam jar okay now let's read it together poem tadpole i've got a tadpole living in a jar going to be a frog they say two little tadpoles living in a jar grow a little day by day three little tadpoles living in a jam jar tails grow shorter and legs grow longer let's say it together one two look at the jam jar with the three tadpoles what are tadpoles tiny little frog eggs actually the little frogs lay round little eggs in the water and that's what becomes the they turn out to be the tadpole and then into a frog a huge frog okay now we're going to say the poem again i've got a i've got a tadpole living in a jar going to be a frog they say two little tadpoles living in a jar grow a little day by day three little tadpoles living in a jam jar tails grow shorter and legs grow longer so what did we talk about we talk about living thing tadpole tiny eggs becomes tadpole and finally it becomes a frog okay so tadpole becomes a frog it's a living thing it can breathe it can grow it can feel it can eat and drink and then finally young ones are produced so living thing we are talking about living and non living here we are talking about living thing you and i the plants outside your little pussy cat we are all living thing because we feel very good we breathe we eat and we drink then we can move from one place to another without help we grow from a tiny girl to a big girl and finally we can have our own little babies young ones in the same way animal let's talk about a pussy cat the little tiny pussy becomes a big mama pussy and then she has small small kittens they also feel breathe eat and drink move grow and have young ones okay now what are the living thing animals all animal big and small all birds big and small all plants and trees that you see and then you and i your dad your mom humans we are so these are the living thing finally learn the poem tadpole i've got a tadpole living in a jar going to be a frog they say 
Two little tadpoles living in a jar grew a little day by day. Three little tadpoles living in a jam jar. Tails grow shorter and legs grow longer. We looked at the living things, animals, plants, then birds and humans. Now, let's look at all the things around us that is not a living thing, non-living. Now, what are these non-living things? All that you see that cannot move. Come on, name some of them. Pen, book, pencil, fan, table, book, anything. All the dishes mama's got in the kitchen, will it walk off? No. All the things from your bag, can it move out? No. You tear up the pages. Does it feel? No. Do you need to feed your book? Your clothes? No. So, when you talk about non-living thing, all the things that cannot move, breathe, eat, they are called non -living. All the things that you see. Your bangles and your watches, your dresses and your tables, furniture and all. All the things that you see. They are all non-living things. Now let's look at what is that non-living thing. Can a non-living thing feel? No. So when we talk about non-living things, we're talking about now non-living things. Non-living things. They do not feel. Non-living things do not feel. You tear a page from your book, you tear your dress, you break your pencil point. They do not feel. You break your chair, it does not feel. So non-living things, they do not feel. Do they breathe? Do they need air to breathe? No. So, they do not breathe. They cannot move. The furniture, the dishes that mommy has got, they cannot walk, they cannot move. So you have to take from one place to another. Mommy gives you a water bottle to take it to school. You have to take it and put it into your bag. So they cannot move. They do not move. They do not feel. They do not breathe. They do not move. They cannot move. They do not move from one place to another. They got to be carried. Now, non-living thing, they do not eat. You don't need to feed a table. Do not, they do not eat. And so, they do not grow. Can your doll grow? Can your book grow? Your pencil box? No, the non-living thing, they do not feel, they do not breathe, they do not move, they do not eat, neither do they grow. And they cannot have young ones. Finally, they cannot, non-living thing, they cannot have young ones. So what do you find? The living things are opposite of non-living. We are humans. We feel, we breathe, we move, we eat, we grow and we have young ones. But non-living things, they do not feel, they don't breathe, they do not move. A chair cannot move. 
the chair doesn't need food it doesn't grow and it cannot reproduce cannot have okay so the difference between non living and living is what we are looking at yes now all of us know the little poem teapot yes now let's say that learn to say the poem teapot i am a little teapot you remember okay so we're going to do a tiny poem you will say learn to say the poem and the topic is teapot tea pot all right hmm teapot all right teapot i am a little teapot i am a little it's a little action poem okay i am a little teapot i'm a little teapot shut and stout shut and stout i'm a little teapot shut and stout this is my handle this is my handle and this is my spout and this is this is my spout when the water is boiling when the water when the water boiling hear me shout hear me shout just lift me up just lift me up and pour me out and pour me out the tiny little poem okay now the teapot So we're going to make some tea, all right? Here's the little teapot. All right, the teapot is also happy, very happy, because it's going to make some tea for us. Now, let's say it together. Remember, the teapot—it's a non-living thing. Can it move from one place to another? No. Can it feel? No. Even it breaks. no it doesn't feel it doesn't need to be fed it cannot drink eat cannot reproduce so teapot we're going to say learn to say the poem keeping in mind non living thing don't feel they don't breathe they don't eat or move they cannot drink they cannot grow and they can't have young one so we're going to say a little poem teapot I'm a little teapot shut and stout Here's my handle and here's my spout Here's my handle 
Yes, my spouse. When the water is boiling, hear me shout, lift me up and pour me out. That's it. Say it again. Poem, teapot. I'm a little teapot, shut and stout. This is my handle, this is my spout. When the water is boiling, hear me shout. Just lift me up and pull me out. Let's learn to say this. And remembering a teapot cannot feel, can't breathe, can't move, can't eat, can't grow. And the teapot cannot have young ones.